Take your time. <laughs> we smiled the whole day if we want. Shalom and good morning and welcome to all our German friends, German media. It is a great pleasure for me uh, to uh, welcome my very good friend, Minister uh, Dirk Nibel, and his distinguished uh, delegation. Uh, we have had a long history of cooperation, uh, first of all based on the very, very good friendship and appreciation that we have for Germany and the German people, and also based on our like-mindedness and our mutual interests in uh, development all over the world, and of course also in the Middle East to help uh, stability and calm and, and bring in uh, peace as much as, uh, as possible. Also, given the uh, unique capabilities uh, that uh, Germany has and Israel uh, has, we combine our forces, we join hands to help third uh, party countries. We have been uh, engaging in very important projects in Ethiopia, uh, water management in Ghana with uh, uh, citrus, and we also have plans to um, do more projects in Kenya, uh, Lake Victoria, and other places as well. So it is with a great pleasure that I want to give the floor to a great uh, leader, a great friend, uh, Minister Dirk Nibel. Shalom, um, I'm very happy to be here again in Israel, and it was a pleasure to meet uh, my colleague, the Deputy Foreign Minister, uh, Dami Alon, once again. And I'm very happy to be here uh, to have this very good cooperation. Um, and the very good talks also about the challenges we have to solve. And uh, for the things uh, we talked, it's not only our trilateral projects, the minister already mentioned. Uh, we have trilateral projects in uh, water drip irrigation in Ethiopia, also uh, in combination with, uh, also in combination uh, with uh, citrus. Citrus. citrus, the citrus fruits in Ghana, and we will start in summer of this year in August the very important third trilateral cooperation in Kenya and the uh, Lake Victoria. And all this is very new in the German Israeli cooperation because in former times um, we haven't had the uh, possibility to cooperate in this way, and we used the chance of. Uh, political context nowadays uh, to make all this possible. We also talked about our project in the Palestinian authorities, and for this, uh, the Israeli government is a very important partner because mostly we need uh, permits to um, fulfill our projects, and I'm very happy that I see a very good progress with the wastewater treatment plant in Gaza. If everything will work as we want to, um, maybe this project can already be finished. Uh, till the end of this year. And we also talked about our school building programs in Gaza, and uh, I was told that in between the next few days there will be a decision, and obviously, uh, and hopefully, a positive decision that we could start also with these projects. Uh, we talked about the implementation and the challenges, the challenges we have, if, uh, it takes a little bit more time to get the permits we need in the West Bank, but also in this area, we are on a good way. Um, for our opinion, uh, it could be faster. For Israeli opinion, uh, opinion uh, the colleagues told us that for Israeli uh, perspective, it's fast already. And in between, we will meet in the future. And I'm looking forward to cooperate also with uh, Israel in other countries, not only in the Palestinian authorities for the next uh, three years. And now I think we, we have time for a few questions. Uh, if I can see your hand, if you can introduce your name and the organization you work for. Thank you. Sebastian Engelbrecht, German Public Radio, ARD. Yeah, come forward. Sie sind gestern in der Zone C gewesen, haben da einen Dorf besucht und Sie sind auch in der in Silvan in Ostjerusalem gewesen und haben da die Situation der Palästinenser erlebt. 
haben Sie die sehr einschneidenden Erfahrungen, die die Palästinenser Ihnen dort berichtet haben, äh, Erfahrungen, äh, das Gefühl der Diskriminierung, haben Sie die äh, besprochen mit Ihren Kollegen? Maybe you can yeah, sit here. It's okay. I can start. <laughs> um, Minister, yesterday you visited a village in Area C and you also visited Silwan in East Jerusalem. Um, where you saw the situation with, uh, in which the Palestinians are living. Um, can I ask you, your experiences there, that you gained there, and the experience of the Palestinians that they feel discriminated again, against, um, was that uh, something that was the subject of your talks today? We are selbstverständlich sowohl with Minister Elon as also with Kruger in a regelmäßig Austausch, auch über the Lebenssituation of the people in the Zielgebieten and in the Jerusalem. Um, of course, we are in regular discussions with Minister Ayalon and also Kogat about the living conditions of people in the Area C and East Jerusalem. And I want to make sure that we, from my understanding, the second largest international investor in the C region, is also with an investment volume of about 80 million euro. That means we have a certain amount of experience in the cooperation with Kogat. And I would like to make it clear that as far as I'm aware, we are the second largest donor in Area C um, with a volume of investment of around 80 million euros. And so we have a great deal of experience there, including experience together with COGAT. All this engagement dient einzig und allein einem Ziel, die Lebensbedingungen der Menschen zu verbessern und die Gefahr von Extremismus zu minimieren, dadurch, dass es den Menschen besser geht. All of our commitment there has one sole goal, and that is to improve the living conditions of the people there and to reduce the danger of extremism by creating better living conditions. Und so ist es selbstverständlich, dass wir auch bei Herausforderungen den unmittelbaren Dialog suchen müssen und das auch weiterhin tun werden, um diese Herausforderungen zu bewältigen, zum Beispiel durch eine noch intensivere Einbeziehung der örtlichen Bevölkerung bei der Aufstellung sogenannter Masterpläne, also bei der and so it is only natural that when faced with these challenges um, we uh, seek discussions on those matters and that is something that we will continue to do in the future. Um, for example, one of the issues is the inclusion of stakeholders of the people living on the ground in the um, development of what are known as master plans. Um, that is a question of which projects can be conducted and what opportunities there are for urban development. Die Einbeziehung in Planungsprozesse, ebenso wie die Verbesserung der Lebensbedingungen durch äh, die Sicherstellung von Grundbedürfnissen, ist ein Punkt regelmäßigen Austausches, weil hier unmittelbar Menschen betroffen sind und deswegen auch möglichst schnell Lösungen herbeigeführt werden müssen, dass ich mir manche Planungsprozesse schneller wünschen würde dass aber auch die berechtigten Sicherheitsinteressen Israels dazu beitragen, dass manche Planung besonders detailgetreu gemacht werden muss, wissen wir aus der jahrelangen Arbeit und versuchen es praktisch so umzusetzen, dass wir möglichst viele gute Ergebnisse erzielen. Um, the inclusion of the population in these planning processes and also the improvement of living conditions so as to assure people's basic needs are the subject um, that are uh, regular, that is a regular subject of our discussions because it is really affecting the people on the ground. Um, so of course uh, we would like to see things going faster in some cases, however um, we know from uh, our experience that um, we would like to see these planning processes going faster, however it's also a matter of um, ensuring that Israel's security interests are met and so some of these processes have to go into a great um, deal of detail. Um, but I think that um, going forward we can achieve some good results.
יש לנו מתרגמים? אולי תרגמו לכל אחד בעברית. כן. כמה אנגלית זה יכול להיות? כן. כמה אנגלית זה יכול להיות? כן. כמה אנגלית זה יכול להיות? כן. כמה כן. אז קודם כל יש באמת שני... אה, פליז. כן, יש באמת שני תחומים עיקריים. תחום אחד, אנחנו מאוד מברכים על הסיוע הגרמני לפלסטינים גם ברצועת עזה וגם ביהודה ושומרון. ואנחנו נמשיך בשיתוף הפעולה ונסייע ככל האפשר כדי שהסיוע הגרמני יגיע ליעדיו ויסייע גם מבחינה הומניטרית וגם מבחינה כלכלית לכל הפלסטינים. והנושא השני כמובן שאנחנו משלבים ידיים עם היכולות העצומות שיש גם לגרמניה וגם לישראל לעזור למדינות שהן מדינות שמעניינות אותנו גם מבחינה הומניטרית, כלכלית, אבל גם מבחינה פוליטית, בעיקר באפריקה. ויש לנו ניסיון מצוין של עבודה ביחד משותפת באתיופיה, בגאנה, כמובן גם בקניה, אנחנו נוסעים ביחד לקניה לניקוי אגם ויקטוריה, ואנחנו גם בוחנים שיתופי פעולה במדינות נוספות, כולל דרום סודאן, שהיא גם המדינה החדשה, שבקשיים גדולים, ואנחנו ננסה לסייע להם ביחד. Um, we have uh, an ex excellent uh, experience of working together in Ethiopia, in Ghana, in Kenya, where we are working together on cleaning the Victoria Lake, and we will have a joint visit there. <coughs> and we're also checking, uh, working on uh, checking uh, future possibilities, including uh, perhaps in uh, South Sudan, and uh, helping, helping there also. But there are other specific projects, other projects? כן. כן. באתיופיה זה פיתוח מקורות מים וסיוע שם לחקלאות. בגאנה יש לנו מטעים גדולים של עצי הדר, שזה גם כן עוזר מאוד לחקלאות. בקניה, כמו שאמרתי, גם פיתוח וניקוי של אגם ויקטוריה. לגבי דרום סודאן, בדרום סודאן הם צריכים הכל. צריכים זה בניית מדינה מההתחלה. ולכן פה אנחנו עוד צריכים לעשות עבודה. אתה יודע שישראל מינתה לפני מספר שבועות שגריר, שגריר ראשון של ישראל לדרום סודאן, הוא ייסע לשם בחודש הקרוב כדי לבחון בדיוק מה הצרכים, ובהתאם לצרכים אנחנו נתגייס לסייע, וגם בהתאם לסיוע שהאירופאים נותנים, כי אירופה בדרום סודאן עושה את זה בצורה מסודרת, ואז אנחנו נעבוד עם ידידינו באירופה וגם כמובן בגרמניה לראות איך אנחנו משתלבים שם.
Philipp Neumann, John Lewis, head of development in addition to the question of the German colleague, I would like to know um, how the Israeli side judges um, the visit of the minister to the sea area yesterday and how does the Israeli side judge the engagement of the German um, government there? Well, we view it very favorably. Uh, we have a great appreciation and trust uh, with the German uh, government uh, and we, it's our interest to work together. Uh, we know that uh, we cannot uh, solve the political problem. The political problem has to be solved between us and the Palestinians and we would like very much to continue the talks until we reach an agreement. Agreement can only be reached when the two sides sit uh, together. But meanwhile, and irrespective of a, uh, the political conflict and, uh, and the peace negotiations, meanwhile, we don't want to hold the entire uh, Palestinian people uh, hijacked by a political process which can take a long time. So we appreciate very much uh, the German contribution and uh, the visit of uh, Mr. Dirk Nibel uh, is very much appreciated. And uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, because we have uh, the trust and the, and the friendship and we know how important the German uh, assistance is to the uh, situation on the ground for Palestinians, both humanitarian, uh, from the humanitarian point of view and economic point of view, so we view it very favorably. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, that's the most important thing. <laughs> this is the most important thing. <laughs> okay.